This guide explains how to set up and design Fit Web Themes Salon Edition. So to get started, all you have to do is click Customize Your Site, or head over to Appearance and click Customize. This brings you to the customization menu. To the left are all the different options for customizing your site, and to the right is a preview of your website as you design it. We're going to start with the first option, Header. This allows you to edit the top header bar for your website. You can upload a logo or simply enter in your business name with text. Background color is going to change the color of the bar. Right now it's transparent, so you can see the image behind it. But you can adjust this by using these sliders. Next we'll head to social links. This is a simple way to add social media icons to your header bar. Simply type in the URL and the icons will appear to the top right. Design is where you can adjust things like your website fonts, font size, and colors. By default, the site uses simple fonts which are easy to read, but you can adjust these and see how they look to the right. Next, click Section Order. This is where you can adjust the various sections that make up your home page. For example, if I want to remove this About section, I can simply click on the eyeball and it'll go away. Or if I want to move it around, I can simply drag and drop to rearrange it. For now, I'm going to leave it where it's at. Now we're going to edit each of these sections one by one. Head back and click Section Hero. The hero is the top part of your website, which features a banner image, text, and two buttons. As you can see, we've provided three different images you can choose from, or you can upload your own just by clicking here. Background color allows you to make your image darker or brighter. For example, right now, there's a slight black transparent layer. This makes it easier to read the white text over it. As you can see, removing it makes it a little harder to read. To edit the button, simply enter in new text, add a URL, and then change the button style if you wish. Now head back and click Location. This is a simple menu to show where your business is located, your hours, and your contact information. You can also make a Google map appear with your location pinned. To do this, all you have to do is follow this link to get an API key. It just takes a few seconds. Gallery is a simple way to add photos to your website. Simply click Add Image and drag to upload your images. By default, these will appear as thumbnails, but if the user clicks on them, the photo will zoom in. You can write your bio, list your services, add a price sheet, really whatever information you need to add. Remember, you can also add additional information on a separate page, so I would avoid making this section too lengthy. If you're a MailChimp user, Email Capture is a simple way to add an email signup form to your website. Simply add your API key and your list ID. Footer is the section that appears at the bottom of your website. It's a place to add website credits, links, or any additional information you need. You can also add up to six accolades, which are icons for awards, certifications, or press links that your business has earned. For example, if there was an article about your business in the newspaper, 
you can add an icon for that newspaper and then link to the article. Last but not least, Navigation Menu is where you edit the main navigation menu at the top of your website. Right now, you only have your home page, but once you design other pages like About or Contact, you'll want to make sure that these are being linked here. Once you're done setting everything up, head to the top and click Save Draft. Then you can exit the customization menu by clicking on this X. You can always come back to keep editing. 